Yes. Yes. McDonald's, Stampings, Harrison's, Allen Gun. Is that Gun and Penfold? Yes. yes. You're right. Now, what about the Grover report? I want a teletype. I want a teletype from Newcastle by lunch. That means lunch today. Yes, I have a car there to drive at the gate, so that's a good train. Have a dozen coffees run off in time for our board meeting. Good morning, please. Any sign of Mr. Hart? He's in your office. Good. Delay the board meeting by an hour. I'm expecting a Lionel Wheeler. Let me know the moment that he arrives. The commissioner will let us know when he arrives. Fine. And check that report yourself. No typos, understand? Very well. And for the board meeting, put Austin at the bottom of the table. Preferably in a draft. Coffee for three in ten minutes. I'll buzz you. Well, morning. Morning. Which, as I thought, there's not a lot more we can do. Why not? Well, the turnover's two million up on last year, Paul. We're ordering materials. What's that got to do with the overdraft? Well, it's Look, the show me, show me, show me, show me. Look, here. <laughs> and here. And here, going up damn near 100,000 a month. But the stock's up 400,000. The overdraft's I want the stock down, and I want the overdraft down. 50,000 a month. Tell Austin to get his finger out. Mm, what shall I suggest? Concentrate on the stuff we're short on. Hold back on everything else. Slow down on payments. We need every penny we can get our hands on. Mm, that's what Wheeler is going to see to that. Well, perhaps he is, but we're not dancing to his music. Don't let the old school tie fool you, Eric. Oh, who's talking? Hmm. That's a nice bit of schmacker. What is it, old Erovian or old Scrubbers? Ah. Never have forgiven me, have you? What for? Teaching you the facts of life. Oh, yes. Anyway, I told you about um, finger bowls and not, not to whistle, whistle at the waiters. <laughs> Come on. Come on, business. You were saying? Um, are you going to tell Wheeler about Timpson? Uh, uh, why not? Let him think he found out for himself. I don't follow. You will, Oscar. You will. Boston? Yes. Oh, Mr. Hart, Mr. Lionel Wheeler is here. Show him in. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Finger bowls and waiters. <laughs> Would you like to go in now? Thank you. Mr. Wheeler. How do you do, Mr. Garston? You know Eric Hart, our yes. managing director? Yes, we met last time I was here. How do you do? Morning, how are you? Looking very fit. A couple of days at Lord's. Uh, enough sun to be a tonic and not enough cricket to depress me. Mm -hmm. Very pleasant. Cigar? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, do you mind if we get down to business straight away? Not at all. I see you brought your homework with you. Uh, just a few preliminary figures. Uh, judging by the accounts Mr. Austin gave me, you're spread very thin. Are we? Your overdraft's high. Industry lives on overdraft, Mr. Wheeler. That's uh, one way of putting it. Yeah, it's my way. If it's a question of raising uh, capital, uh, what's wrong with the rights issue? Nothing at all. We made one last year. A one for four. Yeah, one for four. Now the market is less stable, the index is dropping. Another rights now would depress the shares even further. Uh, one thing my directors will want to know, uh, is there any reason for needing uh, money at this particular moment, uh, more say than in six months' time? Yeah. May I know why? Uh, this is in confidence, of course. Of oh. course. <laughs> why do you laugh? <laughs> well, it must seem <laughs> very presumptuous of Has me. there? Asking confidence from a company which raised money for Disraeli when he bought the Suez Canal. Uh, not many people know that. I didn't know you were among them. Wheelers may be a force in the city, sir. They don't have a patent on homework. So I'm learning. Now, you were going to tell me why you need that money. It takes more than it's really to sidetrack me. There's a new earth leveler on the market in the States. A bulldozer plus. I've got the European and the Commonwealth rights. But surely the rights can't be all that expensive. Ah, but we have to pay for each one as soon as the bill of lading reaches our New York office. Ah, I understand. I think you ought to see some paperwork on this machine. Sure, I'll get some brochures sent around by hand. Yes, do there. And you won't object if our accountant, Doyle and Furman, look in for a couple of days? Not in the least. Fix that up, Eric. Yes, yes, any time you like, sir. If you need any further information, just call me. I'll give you a card. I think we have your number. This is ex-directory. Reserved for very close friends and special business acquaintances. Thank you. And uh, what about your plans for buying out Timpsons? Timpsons? Ah, it's an old story. The private company that doesn't know what to do with its profits. Certex Clarissus. Must be a very fertile grapevine in Lombard Street. As I said, Mr. Garson, it's been growing a long time. A lot of branches. I think you'd better sit down again. I think perhaps I should. And now perhaps I could have one of those cigars of yours. Thank you. Never underestimate wheelers, Mr. Garson. Oh, I won't, Mr. Wheeler. Thank you. Would you like to go out? 
Where to? Oh, I don't mind. I'd like to do something special. And see the sun come up over Rio. Oh, well, there's no washing up. No rubber gloves and no special offers. Well, we could go down to the pub. I'm not keen. You? Well, it's your treat, love. What about um, the weekend? Couldn't we get away Saturday night? Where to? Brighton? Bit old for that lark, aren't we? No. Dab of candy floss and a funny hat? Uh, not this weekend, Ray. Well, why not? I told you, Saturday I'm going to see Mary. You never told me. Losing your memory, that's your trouble. She wrote to me a few weeks ago. Still got the letter somewhere. Used to me, love. Who is she anyway? I never heard of any Mary. Yes, you have. She came to the wedding. Big yellow hat, rather smart. Don't you remember? Vaguely. Three years is a long time to remember a yellow hat. You're going to Westcliff. Westcliff? That's where she lives. Oh, fine old anniversary this has turned out to be. You won't eat any cake, now you're off for the weekend. Go on, then. Cut me a bit of it and make you happy. You'll be the first to complain when I'm bursting out of everything. That'll be the day. Where'd you get that frock? Dress. Same thing. In the sales. It's pretty. Thank you. Well? Mm hmm. Not bad. I'm sorry about Saturday, Ray. Yes, well, that's all right. I should have mentioned it before. Well, if we aren't going out, I think I'll go and pick some black currants. I'll give you a hand. Okay. You get a basin, I'll get my boots. Oh, and we must cut that laburnum back. It'll be all over the garden by next year. Morning. Can I? Oh, I'm afraid not. Oh, why not? He's with Mr. Timpson. Oh, it's this morning, is it? That poor old Timpson doesn't know whether he's coming or going. What do you mean? Well, you wait for Mr. Garson, you ask a question like that. Well, oh, Mr. Timpson seems a very pleasant sort of man. Oh, it doesn't matter. They all come out the same. Bent and battered. 250,000 for the company. You stay on as local director at four, Timpson. I'm taking five already. And the best part of 70,000 is mine. That's not strictly true, is it? I beg your pardon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. After tax, that 70 comes down to around uh, 26, 27. 15 of that, at least, has to stay in the company. Depreciations doesn't cover renewals, let alone expansion, and your number three shop requires a complete refit. It can wait a year? Not according to my information. However, if you took 10,000 net as dividend on top of your salary, you'd be taxed for surtax. You'd end up with about four. But I'd be my own boss. Exactly. With no cash for developments, it's getting tougher for small units to compete. Well, you've always competed before? Then what are you doing in my office? I'd like to think about it. Yeah, I'd like you to. One thought to sleep on. I've offered you 250,000. How long do you reckon it would take you to save that on four? Even 5,000 a year. I'll call you. Before the end of the week. No longer? Sorry. All right, you'll hear from me. Good day, Mr. Timpson. <laughs> well, <laughs> hadn't been for his pride, he'd have signed today. How long did you give him? Friday. Oh. Uh, what do we use for money? Ask Lionel Wheeler. Speak of the devil. <coughs> Garson? What was all that about? Ah, uh, some joker. Now, take it from me, Timpson needs us. Intravenous cash well, injection. Doesn't look like a joke. Somebody keeps threatening me. Has it happened before? Ah, uh, two, three times. Oh. What's he say? Says he's gonna kill me. Ah, it's crank stuff. Does he say why? No. Garson? Well, let's call the police. Doesn't cost anything. Doesn't cost anything to get bad publicity well, either. Publicity? Somebody's trying to take a shot That's at you. That's the difference between getting Wheeler's loan and not getting it. I have the number changed. Good idea. Eric. Mm. Remember a fellow did some work for us with Tillotson's garages? Yes. 
What was his name? Um... Ha! Huh. Marker. Sit down, Mr. Hart. What's Mr. Garton's problem this time? No, how do you know it's for him? Isn't it? He'd like to see you. Well, he knows where I am. Ah, yes, but he'd prefer you to go to him, if that's not asking too much. I'll try and fit him in. Oh, thanks very much. Well, I see you are still in business. Just. If the price is right on the job. <laughs> you know, you make one big mistake, Marker. Only one. Mm -hmm. You like people to grovel. Why, does it make you feel big? Depends who they are. It's two years since you worked for Garson. I bet your salary hasn't gone up two notches since then. You're probably right, mind you. It'll be better this year. Oh, what's so special about this one? You're just going to tell me. And I know one thing already. Uh, you do, what's that? It's expensive, very expensive. <laughs> now, what's happened? Mr. Garson, hmm, Mr. Garson has been threatened. Well, that doesn't surprise me. No, I wasn't supposed to. Business rival? Oh, that's your job. We'd like to hire you for a few weeks. All right. As a bodyguard. Bodyguard? Somebody jumps him, I cop it first. Is that the yeah, idea? That's a general idea, yeah. Tell me. Scared. Witness, when can you start? Mm, don't interrupt your social life, of course. Oh, what? Uh, Sunday. Ah, oh, come off it, Mark. You can do better than that. Sorry. What are you working on? Man's lost his dog. Well, how much to buy him a new one? No, that's not my style, you know that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I just love having you around. You're a tonic. Fine. I'll charge you for it. Mm. I look forward to Sunday. Morning. Mmm. Company accounts. Your company? No. <laughs> What's so funny? Reading your own accounts. It'd be like believing your own publicity. Which company? A private one. Well, why are you reading them? You should work for the police. You mean shut up? Want me to go away? But I don't want to see this again. Nice having you around. You smell good. Thank you. Paul? Mm hmm? What about those phone calls? What about them? Any idea who's doing it? No. Who told you about them? Eric Hart. He's worried, you know. He should be. I'm his meal ticket. Mm hmm You want to come to Norway with me? Love to. <laughs> when do we go? After lunch? End of next month. Marvellous. Midnight sun, bathing in the field. Oh, go on, stop twittering. Mm. Go on, push off. <sighs> oh, look, give me five minutes and I'll play with you. Mm. Something smells good. Put your slippers on, son, and come on and have your tea before it gets cold. What's cooking? Apple tart. Ah. And did you last have an apple tart? Oh, I think it was the weekend. Oh, what does that mean? It wasn't last weekend. Well, then, it was a fortnight ago. I don't put it in my diary. Look, son, when I went to that flower bin, the mics nearly knocked me over. You haven't had pastry for six months. Anne's on a diet. Does that mean you've got to starve as well? No, of course not. But it is a bit unfair to sit there stuck in... Oh, I was watching you just now, digging. Not an ounce of flesh on you. Now, look, Mum, you came here to cook me a meal, not to criticise my muscles or my marriage. Where's she gone to this time? Her aunt's not well. <laughs> Nor's my foot. Oh, look, Ray, she's giving you the run-round. Don't you know that? Nonsense. The odd weekend. Odd? When our Judy saw you last month, you were eating jam sandwiches for your Sunday lunch. Well, it's not a crime, is it? It's a crime when my son hasn't the gumption to come home if his wife won't feed him a decent Sunday lunch. There are other things in the world besides food, Mum. True, and while you're at it... You you're at it, not me. You might have a look in Anne's wardrobe sometime. Read a few of the names inside the dresses. <laughs> they didn't come from any of the stores around here. Yes, well, she always was a good dresser. Oh, I know that. I think you ought to find out who's paying for them. Oh, Mum, she wouldn't do that to me. Wouldn't she?
When did these threats begin? Three weeks ago. How many in all? Four. And every one of them on the ex-directory number? That's right. Now tell me it's somebody who knows me. Are you interested in finding out who it is? Yeah, I'm interested. I'm also interested in staying alive. And one other thing. What's that? I don't want it publicly known that you're bodyguarding me. It wouldn't be good for business. I'm sure it wouldn't. While you're on the job, you'll be my chauffeur. Not too degrading. I'll live with it. Do a reasonable job, Marker. I'll see you don't lose by it. So will I, Mr. Garson, so will I. <laughs> You know what? You know what happened to the party. Annie, what about you? Mm. No, not for me, don't you? All right, I'll do it. Oh, what's the matter with you? No, no, nothing. No. I'm just bursting. That's well, I don't want to. Oh, and in the old days, they'd have waded through this and then been ready for after. Well, I hope it's all right. I know so. what that meant. Well, <laughs> come on, John. Don't take all day. Sweetheart, I'll be home as soon as I can. Uh, no, what's it? No, it. It's his command performance, the genial conqueror bit. We're having a barbecue. <laughs> this evening, pet. And don't worry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Has the doctor been? It is an appendix. He'll probably operate tonight. Uh, it's a little girl, isn't it? Boy, four. Yes, it's bad luck. Still, you know, it's chicken feed today. There's nothing to it. It's like having a tonsils out. Are you enjoying that, Edith? It's all right. Oh. I hope he'll be all right. Thank you. Oh, John, come on. Come over and have some steak. Uh, not for me, thanks. Well, it's your party, you know. You've got to eat and drink and so on. Fatted car. Yeah. Then I'll drink, if that's okay with you. Champagne? Fine. Great. I'll get a bottle. Uh, have you got a good doctor? Hmm. Well, if, you'd like, if you'd like him, take him to the clinic. Uh, you've, only, you've only got to ask. Paul will get him in there in no time, because Freddie, um... What's his name? Um, Chief Knife. Anyway, he's, um, he's one of our shareholders. Well, that's very kind of him. No, 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 no. You're working for Paul Garson now, don't forget. I'm not likely to. Mm-hmm. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like a word with Miss Johnson, when you can spare her. Yeah, it might be arranged. What for? Well, my keep. <laughs> you do that every time you go through a door ahead of me. I'd still like to talk to her. Well, if she'll come, I'll send her over. Mozart. Mozart. Yeah. Hey. Won't change your mind? No, thanks. High living doesn't agree with me. Don't forget London Airport tomorrow morning, chauffeur. I'll try and remember. You know the way? Oh, I think I might find it. <laughs> Give them time. <laughs> everything, but everything is taken care of. I mean, we not only guarantee you'll get to heaven, we'll get you there first class. I can hardly wait. Not spoiling your lunch, I hope. No, I've eaten enough to last all week. <laughs> What can I tell you? What do you know? About Paul and the phone calls? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Eric Hart told me about them. Uh, any theories? <laughs> My guess is it's some business rival. How long have you known Garson? Not long. You don't like him, do you? I don't have to. You're working for him? It's a business arrangement. Not a love affair. Anything else? Where do you fit in? Wherever I can. At least you're honest. Nothing to gain by not being. I like Paul. I like the scenery. But I'm a tourist, Mr. Marker. I'll hang on as long as I can, and when I leave, I'll take some souvenirs back with me. 
but I'm not the resident. Unlucky for some. Me for one. You seen Paul's um, sunglasses? No. Oh, he'd uh, like them if you can find them. Any more questions? No. How's it going? Coming along and nearly finished this corner. Don't get tricks in, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Mrs. Darston? Eva, she, uh, she opted out. Ah, when was that? Oh, 18 months ago. Did you meet, did you meet her? Yeah, I saw her a couple of times. Yeah, she keeps a pottery shop, um, ceramics. Oh, yeah, where? Hampstead. Why did she leave? Oh, couldn't answer that short of six volumes. Well, he still keeps her pictures about. Mm. Successful businessman remembers his failures. Boardroom philosophy. It's our new line. What is she to him? Something he took over but couldn't integrate. Well, how does she think of him, though? Oh, no, she does. Well, is she wild enough to threaten him? Better ask her. What's it got to do with you? I've been hired to protect your husband. Somebody's threatening you. Hardly the surprise of the year. Do you know, I thought you might say that. You estranged and embittered wife. Are you bitter? I had the tough years. To get kicked out when happy days come, it's a good enough reason to be bitter. Well, aren't you well provided for? If money in the bank is the criterion, yes, I'm provided well, for. After all, he's not an ungenerous man, Not with he? money. Nobody close to him will ever kill him. Why not? Nobody killed Santa Claus. Well, from what I have heard, you left of your own free choice. You weren't kicked out. It depends which Bible you read. No one opened the door and said, walk. I couldn't have taken any more. Any more of what? Tycoonery. Incurable acquisitiveness. I don't know where a woman's place is. At home, in bed. They're certainly not between the balance sheets. And what about divorce? That doesn't enter his scheme of things. But might you be trying and tempted to force his hand? Mm, I might. But is that the straight an answer as I get? Yes. How long is the other man prepared to wait? What other man? The one who's waiting. You're shooting in the dark. Yes, I know I am, but somebody bought you that ring. It's not grand enough for Garston. Single sapphire never knocked anyone's eye out. Mrs. Garston, if you gave me your word I'm that this other man... I'm not making any deals. Now, wait a minute. Let me finish. If you gave me your word that this other man isn't involved, I'd leave it there. And if I didn't? I might have to involve him. Mud sticks. That's a shame. For him? For you. You're behaving like Garson. You're right, mud does stick. I'm sorry, no guarantees. Uh, I thought not. You wouldn't care to buy a pair of Toby jugs, would you? Not my problem. Well, I can't get shot of them. And I can't get shot of Garson. Anne? Mm -hmm. What were you doing at the Sidcut Depot on Saturday? How do you know I was there? Wally Marriott saw you. He would. Well? Well, what? What do you think you're playing at? I know you with Garson. Are you having an affair with him? Oh, Ray. Well, come on, Anne. I'm waiting for an answer. Look, I know things haven't been right lately. I, I, I know you haven't been too happy. But I didn't think you... Well, why did it have to be him of all people? Why Garson, for Pete's sake? I work for that bastard, damn him. He doesn't know. Oh, doesn't he? I would have thought you'd have told him. You'd given him a bang, that would, like picking up your scrubbers off the office floor. Oh, he's not like that. Oh? Well, then what is he like? Well, come on, come on, Anne. You've not been seeing for your health. You must know. You've been to bed with him, haven't you? Would it matter? Well, of course it matters, you stupid bitch! Now, it's got to stop. Who says so? I do. I'm spending the weekend with him. You're bloody not. You're not ever going to see him again. Let's get that straight for a start. Try and stop me. Anne! Take an estimate of floor, space, and plant, plus an approximate 
works cost of the machine and the number to be produced. Yeah, I follow. Our upstaff at the capital required uh, half a million. Half to three quarters. Well, that's the most encouraging thing you've said all day. Buxton. Excuse me. Yes? Can you spare a moment for Mr. Hart? I'm with Mr. Wheeler. Can't it wait? It's about butcher stampings. Okay. Carl? Oh. Yeah. Machine shop at Butcher's, they're out of a special stamping. Yes, sir, yes. We don't get them, the assembly line packs up. <coughs> well, what's the problem? Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Wheeler. That's quite all right. Uh, McDonald's can't let Butcher's have any stampings for a month. A month? Crazy. Well, I've spoken to Mac himself. Well, they're in production, aren't they? You know they are. Well, they'll have to cut back on someone else's orders. Or on contract for Well, of course they're on contract. Uh, perhaps you'd like me to leave you for a few minutes. Not at all. You sit still. Uh, <clears throat> right. Come on, now, who's the next lot for? Well, Bateson's in Newcastle. Bateson. Well, they're big people to fool around with. You can't Who suggested them. fooling with them? Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, what's wrong? One of the machines working on the Bateson contract. What about it? Just broken down. Be out for a week. Very sorry. Shall I call old man Bateson? Yeah, give him a double sackcloth and ashes. He'll hit us with non-fulfillment penalties. Tough. I bet we'll have one of his engineers down by Friday. Yeah, worry about that when it happens, and my personal regrets. And, uh, ask him how the grouse are shaping. <laughs> I, uh, thought you knew that wheelers were stickers for etiquette. Yes, I do. And didn't you think that I might find your methods a trifle below the belt? It occurred to me. Well? I had two alternatives. I could cut production and you'd have thought I was a fool, or I could do a fiddle, and you'd think I was a villain. I imagine you'd rather back a villain than a fool. Now, the work at our plant in Crawley can be rephased to give us an additional floor space of approximately uh, 20,000 square feet by next spring. Mm -hmm. Mustard? English? Pepper on your salad? Custard in your coffee. That's what I like about this job, congenial company. Yes, Gov? Um, coffee, please. Uh, which? Sorry? Black or white? White. Uh, one white. A sandwich? Yes, please. Salt, beef, egg, cucumber, liver sausage, patties, salmon, sardines, shrimp, tomato, cream cheese. Uh, uh, yes, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Uh, with or without? Pardon? Uh, chutney. Without. Oh, you've got to know what you want in this life, Gov. One glance and I knew you was a man used to making decisions. Take more than chutney to confuse you. That's a touch to you, Gov. Pardon? Uh, half a dollar. Oh. Do you know a, a man called Mr. Ellis? Yeah, he's around there. Oh, thank you. Mr. Ellis? Sit down, cocky. My name is... Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I was told to contact you. Yeah, I know. This man at the stadium, he said... Well, I know what he said. Ah. No chutney. Well, what's wrong? You don't look the sort. You don't think I do it myself. I don't know. I'm a friend of a friend. A friend has contacts. What will they do? What do you think? What you're paying for? They won't. Hmm? I mean, he, he won't die, will he? They're professionals. Yes, I know, but accidents can happen. It'll be a hospital job. Yeah. <laughs> Even so, we'd be in the clear, Cocky. I, I don't want him to die. I'll tell them. Have you uh, <clears throat> got the money? Half now. Hundred now. Hundred after the job's done. Under the table. I've seen these jobs. You won't be worth a damn afterwards. You're doing the right thing. This dress. All right, Cocky. When will it be? Friday night. Huh? <laughs> hey. 
can't turn on these tight, boy. Huh? Tell me more about the trip to Norway? Not yet. I'll keep you posted. Oh, come on, come on. You'll take all the spots of it. Hey, why? What'd I say? Where's the car? Ah, uh, find out. See what Mark is up to. Yeah, sure, why not? Sit down and I'll tell you. Come on, sit down. Oh, where's Mr. Elliot? Detained. Now I'll ask the questions. What? Why did you want Garson beaten up? I don't know what he's talking You're about. You're two moves behind the game, son. Ernest talked. Why did you want Garson beaten up? Well, that's my business. Look, I'm particular who belts me in the kidneys. And I'm too old to relish a steel toe cap up my backside. And whether you tell me or you tell the police. Well, it was supposed to be Garson. Yeah, I've got that far. Now tell me why. The longer I sit, the less patient I get. Well, he was playing around with my wife. I had to teach him a lesson. So first you threaten him, then you hire some muscle. No, I, did, I didn't bother with any threats. Well, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You said you didn't threaten him? No, I did. The only thing... You didn't I... even phone him? Well, no, it'd be like phoning the Queen. He's thinking to talk to me, one of his draftsmen. You work for him? Yes. I wouldn't have got past his secretary. Oh, no. Your wife called Anne? Yes. Small, blonde. You know her? I didn't realize she was married. When did you first meet up with Garth? Hart, the managing director, he introduced them, I think, at the party at Christmas. Oh. And you're sure you never phoned him, ever? I keep telling you, no. Will you have her back? Yes. Yeah, well, we might be able to skip the police. Oh, might we? No, don't knock it, son. You could do with some help. You're working for Garson. Don't pretend you're doing me any favors. I work for him, but he doesn't know me. And while we're getting personal, you work for him, too. I did. I quit last week. Oh. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, keep this to yourself. Forget we ever met. I'll try and forget about the beating up. Then you try and forget about Garson. The starting agreements are to give a man confidence. Confidence to do well. Or compensation if he doesn't. So why not renew? Ah, it shouldn't be necessary. By then he's proved himself. One way or the other. Anne, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, I'm sorry. Something terrible's happened. I'll leave you. No, no, if it's as bad as that, you'd better stay. It's about those calls. The threatening phone calls. What about them? I know who made them. Who? Well, come on, who was it? Please, don't be mad. Look, who was it? My husband. How did you find out? He told me this morning. What's he doing it for? I should have thought that was obvious enough. What's he going to do about it? He's going to tell one of the papers. His brother's a reporter. Yeah, that's all I mean. He said he'd splash the story all over the country. Well, we'll stop him. After that, he'll sue for a divorce. Like hell he will. You scheming little bitch. Why didn't I see it before? This was all your idea, wasn't it? No. You put him up to it, didn't you? You spelled it out for him, oh, didn't I you? Swear you I swear I swear you swear it's got nothing to do with her. How do you know? I know what Anne thinks of you. How? 
If you must know, I made a pass at her. But we'll fight it, deny everything. Oh, fight nothing. We've got to stop him. How? There's a way. What is it? Money. How much? Fifty thousand pounds. Fifty thousand? That's what he said. Oh, he's out of his mind. I'll get Mark around to him. No, 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 wait. Now, you're sure he's not bluffing? Quite sure. Look, Paul, give me an hour and I'll hire the best solicitor in town. No. Why not? One word of this gets out, we little stop the loan. Mm, never. Look, you know damn well he would bank us to the church. Isn't that their title? Oh, so, so, we go elsewhere. Look, where are your brains? If Wheeler's cut us dead, there isn't any elsewhere. All right, all right. So what do we do? Give him his money. Some of it. How much? Twenty. Tell him it's twenty, not fifty. Now get out of here and don't let me ever see you again. Paul. Get out. Where will you meet him? My place. Eight o'clock. Right, they're coming. Now, no scenes. Just let them leave. Your boss. I'll go. Good evening, Mr. Garson. This him? Yes. Paul. Shut up, I don't want to know. Well, it is a pleasure to actually meet you at last. Marker, meet Mr. Johnson. Blackmailer extraordinary. How do you do, Mr. Johnson? How do you do? I didn't expect company. If I'm not out of here... If you're not out of here in two minutes, I'll personally kick you down the stairs. Oh, we understand one another. That the money? Yeah. Your wife tell you what I'm offering? Yeah. Not ungenerous of you, all considered. Ray. Shall we sit down and count it out? Ray, please. Well, we'll say goodbye then. Mr. Johnson. Yes? Enjoy spending it. Oh, we will. You say that creep used to work for me? That's right. Why? Haven't you seen him before? Yeah. Draftsman at ten a penny. And he walks out with twenty thousand pounds. Oh, it's a price you pay for not knowing the people who work for you. Bitch. Uh, twenty thousand pounds. <laughs> 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 hey, you think we'll hear from him again? It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we got it. I dropped Peter's off. No. No trouble at all. Just like a good boy. Mmm, they're fine. No, they're not new. Oh, no. She's done us. Notes at the end and plain paper inside. All right, have it your way. You go running to him? He found me. Think you've been smart, do you? Oh, do yourself a favor. You didn't have a chance of pulling this off. No. Give me something to write on, will you? All right, now you are going to write a letter. What about? I mean your partner, and I don't mean the man who doubled for your husband. Who got what, why, and anything else you think might interest us. Oh, come on, come on. What does he matter to you now? The difference between eating and not eating. Look, don't be a fool. You've messed this up. Do you think it's going to bother with you any longer? Keep talking. You've got something I want. I've got something you want. How much? Ten thousand. And no paper this time. How do I know you won't prosecute? The same way you knew Garson couldn't afford publicity. Morning. Can I? Yes, he's ready and waiting. Oh, where's the bodyguard this morning? Oh, he's around somewhere. Morning. Good morning, Eric. Bright and early. I've got a heavy day. What did you want? Give you something. 
Well, it's off my office door. That's right, Eric Hart, managing director. I don't understand. It's all that's left of you, sonny boy. This some sort of joke. You're fired. Why? Your accomplice talk. Accomplice? That's right. Dear Mrs. Johnson, it's all down in black and white. How much did it cost you? <laughs> Accountant to the end, eh? Ask Marker. Oh, and she sends her love. Bitch. Yeah, that's what I said yesterday, till you told me how wrong I was. Mm. You keep it. What was it? Why did your feet a bit further under the desk? Something like that. Get something on me, stir and mix and use when needed. You know the trouble with you? Oh, wheelers have come up with the money. Two million. I thought you'd like to know. Delighted. Hmm. Thank you. He'll see you now. How are the bruises? Fine, fine. Right. Sit down. Cigar? No, mate. No, of course not. I've just had Art's resignation. Tough. He all survived. You did a good job, Marker. I'm grateful. That's grateful. Thanks. Yeah, you've got some money of mine. Oh, yes. What's this? Receipts. 10,000 to get Ann Johnson to talk. And this? 10,000 for Johnson. In lieu of one wife. You're very generous with my money. I told you, it's an expensive business. That'll keep him off your back. Yeah, it'd better. Anyway, it's deductible. Ah. Oh, you'll find a way. <laughs> How do you like to work for me, Marker? On a permanent basis, save you rooting around. No, I wouldn't. Why not? Getting old. Too stiff to lick boots. You think I need boot lickers? Looks like it. From what I've seen sitting outside your office for a week. Hey, you're not Shane, you know, riding off into the sunset. You're just another man in a dirty old map. That's right. And you want me, you know where to find me. Mr. Garston? Yes. You've still got Mr. Warren waiting to see you. Let him wait. Bring a pad in. Yes, Mr. Garston. Warren apart. Any other messages? George Grove, I call Yeah, him. forget it. Gun and pen post? No. Nope. Right, sit down. Take this down. Get it to the printer straight away. Tell them it's coming. It's got to be included in the annual report. Right. Ready? Under the Articles of Association, Mr. Hart would be retiring and, being eligible, would offer himself for re-election. Re-election, yeah. Unfortunately, ill health will prevent him from doing so. We all wish him well in his enforced and untimely retirement. Is that all? Definitely. Should it go? Uh, just before the paragraph on loyalty, uh, continued and unstinted efforts. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right, get that off. Yes, Carson. Fine, Lionel. Fine, 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 yeah. How's Mrs. Wheeler? Oh, great. Yeah, I, I, I've been wanting to talk to you. Um, I'm looking for a new managing director. I wondered if you had any bright lads up your sleeve. Oh, you know me, non, you know my type, not too establishment, eh? More Birmingham than Balior. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Bring him along, why not? On uh, Sunday, 2.30 uh, at Sunningdale. Bring your clubs, we might have a run. Oh, no, Lionel, there are you, must have to do. 